House prices in Scotland rose at the slowest rate since June 2020 last month, according to a new survey. The Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors found Scotland is one of only three UK regions which saw price rise at all in March. The state agents say that interest rates and the cost of living are dictating the market. Brandon Cook has more. It's been a difficult time for house sellers recently. Low prices, a stagnating market and a cost of living crisis have meant buyers just aren't snapping up deals. The Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors says Scottish house prices increased only fractionally last month, but uncertainty over interest rates appears to be putting people off buying. Surveyors reported a 6% fall in new buyer inquiries in March. You wouldn't expect buyers not to be cautious in an environment in which mortgage rates have gone up and there's a lot of news about sort of challenges the economy's facing. But I think what we are seeing more generally and specifically in Scotland is that although demand is down a little bit, it's perhaps not down as much in some other, part, some other parts of the UK. With both demand and supply lower, sales are also reportedly falling back. That's replicated across the rental market, where a lack of properties remains a serious issue. Despite this, Scotland is one of only three UK regions which saw house prices rise, albeit at the slowest rate for three years. For sellers, of course, this is good news, and experts are reportedly less pessimistic here than other parts of the country. They expect both sales and prices to be up this time next year. That's fueling some optimism amongst the state agents in Aberdeen, a city which has experienced unique challenges. When the oil industry was really dominating things, we used to have peaks and troughs and it was not very good. It's become a much more steady, easy-as-you-go market and that's good for buyers and sellers because people can plan. After a few unstable years, this survey demonstrates the level of market change and signals where it may go. Brandon Cook, STV News.